Hey Melons, it is Monday and we just finished our next session of game and look, there's a Tobes here. How exciting. Hey. We got very lucky. That means Bells is back to cause all sorts of uh, drama. <laughs> mm. uh, let's see. I would say I'm going to recount. So Petra today was an absolute star. Uh, she was able to <laughs> suss out who was really the good and bad guys, and to convince uh, the main character that he really did deserve love and didn't need magic to get it, and also that uh, magic is a tool and uh, not cheating. Um, Petra and Mallory, however, were not the first to figure out what story we were in. Uh, that honor Megan. goes to the Logan Megan duo over here so i think that they should probably tell us next what we did today so uh today i was professor human um and our, our the the fairy tale brook uh so twisted for us so well was the story of aladdin uh a story which i do not know as well as i thought i did but nevertheless knew enough to deduce it, I'm not gonna say before you, even though no, it was because I'm not. One hundred percent, like at the same time. Mm -hmm. At the same time, if time works differently than how it does for us <laughs> regular people, versus you, <laughs> Professor Human. So, <laughs> but it was very, it was a delight uh, to see how things were. I did not know that the original um, Aladdin story, despite like. Sherazadi being like so cool to me. I don't actually know Sherazadi's tales, and I have, and I did not know that Aladdin uh, had two genies in it—a ring, a, a genie from the ring, and a genie from the lamp. The lamp. Yeah. Why did that word escape me? But yeah. So, yeah. So that was that cool. Is what I learned. Yeah. So it we uh, very... we met Aladdin. We were hired by Jafar, or you know the the version of Jafar. The Grand Vizier. Yeah. Uh, so we we were hired by the Grand Vizier. We were like, yeah, sure, we'll do that for you. And then immediately met Aladdin's living mother because uh, this version of Aladdin has living parents. I feel like you've unorphaned a lot of people. Maybe that's the theme. Well, no, in the original fairy tale, Aladdin's mother is alive. Uh huh. Yeah. And I his see. father is not. Ah, so Disney orphaned them because you have to because Disney movies are only allowed to have orphans in them. Yeah. Easy character uh, but we also had uh, Bells here to cause all sorts of trouble, starting with the fact that Bells tried to convince the Jafar character to call him daddy. No, you called him daddy. I did. <laughs> I love the idea of Bells and Jafar just like, I mean, you are a fallen angel. The two of you maybe would hit it off. Yeah, I'm a fluid sexual being. I could hit it off with anyone, honestly, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who am I to judge? I'm literally from hell, so it's like whatever, you know. But yeah, no, I, I had a lot of fun being back in the game and really just causing problems. But yeah, I don't know. I just have fun playing with y'all. So thank you guys for having me and putting up with me and not getting annoyed with me. Oh yeah, uh, bells caused all sorts of trouble, but teleported us in and out with ease, uh, which is something we desperately need. Trying to get around last time, so annoying without you. <laughs> You're welcome. Travel's I, I much harder wings. without uh, angel wings to fly on. Brooke, anything to, to add about this session? What'd we miss? Just having a good time adapting fairy tales. <laughs> um, I made them very angry because I revealed that the Jafar character has an amulet and then I cut the game. It's yeah. true. Way to just leave us on a cliffhanger. Yeah, that's true. Emily, who is the Jasmine, the princess, has, like, been vanished by evil Jafar, and he's holding David hostage for the lamp that we totally have in our possession. Because what we're holding is definitely not a fake imbued <laughs> with magic by Apple. No. It's so, yeah, fun. We're having a good time. Yeah, and now we have to wait. For next session to find out what happens and I will see you tomorrow. You guys are the best.